Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the lounge. Glad to be here once again, as always, and I hope everybody is having a wonderful Thursday afternoon. And uh, well, I went to bed on <clears throat> excuse me on time last night. Of course, I woke up. You guys, uh, which you guys know that you listened to a podcast I did late last night, um, and I just want to also say, you know, that. I find it really, really amazing. You know, when I did that podcast last night, um, yeah, you know, I, I wasn't sure what was going to be the outcome of it because um, I was really doing it just in, in in general for the lounge because I feel that that's you know that's one of my duties as a you know uh, as the owner of this channel uh, to to make sure that I you know speak for the channel when that is necessary but anyways I just want to say thank you to uh, Reaper for you know uh, look he also admitted that he was you know that he made a mistake and guys I'm telling you and I'll, I'll say it over and over and over every time it takes a lot to stand up and admit when you're wrong or when you make a mistake. I'm not saying that Reaper was wrong and Reaper, I'm not. You're a good man. Um, but you stood up and said, hey, I made a mistake. I'm sorry. And I think that that, guys, that is, that is how we handle things. That is how we get through problems. It goes back to what I've talked about many of times. Problem solving. I wasn't sure what the outcome was going to be last night. But I'll tell you this much. I find it to be very respectful for what Reaper did. He admitted. Look. He was upset too. Everybody was upset. You know. There, there was a lot of frustration going on there. You know. Let, let's go back and look at. When the situation went on. <clears throat> frog in my throat today. When the situation went on with Shine Bright. And all that went down. <clears throat> Look how many people, you know, was saying this and saying that. But, I mean, I mean, you, you, there's going to be emotions involved when any type of deal goes down like this. Whether it had to do with Shine Bright or it had to do with Karen or whether it had to do with the lounge or whether it had to do with Blue Wings or what, whatever the, the case might be. So... I give you a thumbs up on that Reaper, and I just wanted to get that out of the way. And just wanted to make sure you know that there is no hard feelings coming from the lounge. I can promise you that. Um, you know, Blue Wing, she will do her best to keep me out of the line of fire. You know, she'll say, hey, don't, don't do it. Don't say nothing. Don't respond or don't do this. Uh, but <laughs> she knows as well as the rest of you know. If something's wrong or something's going on and I know that, that things are, you know, shaky. I'm going to speak for the lounge or for a lounger or for myself or for Blue Wings. Uh, not really speak for them, but I'm going to stand up for the lounge. By standing up for the lounge, that means I'm standing up for the loungers. Um, sometimes we, we just got to, you know, when things like this happen, guys, I think the best thing to do is turn the mic away, you know. I've done it 
So I understand. You know, when, when, when things go on, you want to just get on there and you want to talk about it and you want to, you know, get a lot of people's, you know, thoughts on things and stuff, but sometimes it's not the best way to handle it. And I'm not talking about what just happened. I'm just speaking in general terms here. But, um, Boy and Reaper and all of you, I, I still welcome you to the lounge with, with arms wide open. You know, um, I believe in, you know, we, you know, like I said, we're human. We make mistakes. We're not programmed to be perfect. And if you think that you are, I'll gladly bring you on in the lounge and you, and, and you can try to argue that point. But, and I'm not saying that to anyone in particular. I'm just saying, you know, in general, if you, if you think that you've been programmed to be perfect, by all means, you want to come and try to prove yourself to be right on that. Well... I mean, you just won't be. Because nobody's perfect. And anybody that acts like they're perfect, most of the time are the ones that end up being hypocrites or cowards or, uh, you know, bullies or whatever. I, and, and we just don't, you know. No. Nobody's perfect. Nobody. Um... I think that the lounges came a long ways. I really do. We have been through a lot. We have, you know, dealt with a lot. I've been trying, and I wanted to talk about this. Um, somebody messaged me and asked me why I didn't, you know, dispute the strike that happened. Well, I've been trying. It's not that easy. I did the one dispute thing, but you can only have like two sentences or something, and that's it. But, you know, if, if somebody would, you know, like to, to help me to figure out another way, by all means, I welcome you to, to help me out on that, because uh, that it was definitely a, a false strike. That's for sure. But... I took the punches, I took the hits, and kept going. And we're almost through it anyways. I don't know if that once that goes away, if if that still stays, as far as, you know, or if it gets, you know, I don't know when, the, when this, you know what I'm saying. Like, once we're allowed to, you know, once that strike goes away, as far as the, the penalty that we had to face, does it still stay with us or does it do we get the clean slate how I don't know how that stuff works but it was definitely you know as many people said it was definitely a false strike and I know that but sometimes there's not jack diddly you can do about it um it was intentional you know there was a video done. They knew I'd respond on it. And I did. Like an idiot. But again, I, I said nothing bad. I I specifically was talking in general about, you know, people using the bathroom while on YouTube. I, I don't see how that ended up being a bully situation or harassment at all. But anyways, things happen. We got to move on. Uh, but if you if you know a way to to help out with that, by all means, I would gladly accept your uh, volunteership to to help out with that. Because I I don't know what else to do. I've tried. So, anyways, I love you guys. I've got some uh, motivational stuff coming up. We've got our speaker back. Our podcast is back. Back in action, baby. Dun dun dun. dun. Back in action, baby. All right. The one thing that I'm not, and that's a singer. All right. I'm not a pro. So, anyways, I'm going to get out of here because I think that uh, Old Man Roger and Ralph's want to do a podcast for you guys. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I love you guys. 
Reaper, thumbs up to you, brother. Boy, thumbs up to you. Blue Wings, thumbs up to you. All of you. I love you guys so very much. And uh, I'm glad this could be resolved. I really am. I love you guys, man.